see our boy Brian is in Monkey 16. Uh, for a while, I know y half of y'all probably care about what I'm gonna talk about, and half of y'all probably don't, which I can really give two craps about. And if my mom watches this video, mom, basically this whole video I'm gonna be saying a lot of words that you wouldn't expect me to say around you because I have too much respect for you and I love you so in our video <sighs> through my life I've gone through I've been through so many things I've been through a whole bunch of crazy stuff like okay I have a father that I guess I have no choice but to love him even though he was he was a terrible person and all of that he would beat me and like he would put his hands on my mother things like that things that she would do is minor but what he does but what he did was far more worse he won't get in his feelings when my mother got upset about it so basically he will put his hands on her and she ain't do nothing wrong to this dude she could talk to a dude and he'll get pissed off about it nigga if my mom ain't doing nothing with him or whatever you shouldn't even worry about it why should you even care she gets mad about you cheating on her but if you assume the she cheating on you, you want to put your hands on it. That's some bitch ass shit. And I don't like nothing like that. And another thing through my life, I've seen people out in public do some bitch ass shit like that. And I don't like that. I have two siblings. I won't beat on them like, alright, I have a 17 year old sister. Since this is some personal stuff, I ain't gonna throw their names out and things like that. I have a 17 year old sister. I love her to death, but she gets in my nerves to the point that she make me want to hurt her. I don't, I don't like putting my hands on her. I don't, I don't put my hands on, I don't like putting my hands on anybody. Like, I have a four-year-old and an eight-year-old brother. I would only pop them if they do something wrong. That's as far as I would do with them. And my, as far as my four-year-old sister go, I would never do anything serious to harm her. I would pop her, but I'd be damned if any other nigga out on the street would put their hands on her. That ain't, that ain't gonna fly right with me. I ain't gonna do no, I ain't gonna let nothing like that happen to her. And... People would think. I'm sorry. I just have a lot of things that I want to say, and I can't really get the right things out. But anyway, there's some dudes that who say that they want to be in a relationship with certain girls. They said that they wouldn't do things like that to them. They wouldn't beat on them, physically hurt them, things like that. Half of those dudes that say that does that shit anyway. But I'm not gonna say that I'm that I'm that I'm the greatest boyfriend out there. I know there's guys out there that's better than me, but I don't really care because I'm not them. That's their own little thing. I'm happy where I am, single relationship, whatever the case may be. I'm happy the way I am. I could say that I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt a female. I wouldn't put my hands on her. I can say that. I know I'm telling the truth that I wouldn't do it. But half of y'all, well, most of y'all females out there won't believe that. And another thing about females, I don't like it that y'all want certain niggas or just certain dudes, period, based on how they look or what they have. You should be happy that there's a nigga out there that even want you. You should be lucky that any nigga or just any dude out there, period, even wants your ass. You should be thankful 
that anybody wants you at all. Like this stupid. I'm sorry, but actually, no, I'm not sorry. I ain't gonna put pull no cacaos or nothing. I ain't gonna beat around the bush with y'all. Y'all bitches wanna look for niggas that got like dreads, tats, got cars, their own houses, and all that shit. And young niggas like me, mind you, I'm 22, and I could be doing what half of the people that that I know could be doing right now. They work for their stuff. I'm still working on man because my life is a little more difficult than this. I'm sure they still have problems back and forth, but they can still deal with it. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get to where I am. Like for example, I'm in a program that can help me get a job. But females want a dude that has a job now. And half of these females out there, the gold diggers, they want a nigga that has shit. They want a nigga that can always take them somewhere to fancy places and shit like that. And if not, if they can't do that, they don't either want to be with the nigga or some other dumb shit that I don't understand for real, for real. Sorry about the camera lag and shit, but anyway. I don't get y'all females that want niggas for shit like that. I don't get it at all. And another thing. Most of y'all females out there in the social network that be taking pictures like with y'all ass and titties like sticking out shit like that. Y'all wearing real tight and revealing outfits. Y'all always, y'all always say that y'all single and shit. But when a dude that's real nice and he ain't even thirsty that y'all dumb bitches say, y'all want to turn them down. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what type of life they have. They, you don't know how, you don't know how that person is. You don't even give them a chance. You just turn them down like that. I hate bitches like y'all. I can't stand y'all. I don't care who sees this video. Y'all control and shit all like that all y'all want. I just tell you one thing. You don't want me to respond back on none of that like that. Because I'll hurt your feelings real quick. I'll say some real tough and hurtful shit. I will tell you that right now. I have friends on Facebook. I have friends on Kick. Like Meet Me, which was my yearbook or whatever. MySpace, I don't ever be on that shit no more. Like I would check it, like see what's going on and all of that. Have a tag, all of that. I would be... On half of them sites, half of them girls that look all inappropriate and stuff like that, and say they want to do and all of that. Once that dude that could be real nice and loving, like, like I know that, I know that I am. But half of y'all bitches don't believe that, or just half of y'all chicks don't believe that anyway. Won't want to be with them. I don't get, I don't get most y'all females. And another thing, even if it's a dude that y'all say that y'all want, if it's a dude that don't have those things, but is respectful and all of that, if you don't have the other things, y'all don't want to fuck with him. What the hell is what that? Y'all should be happy that there's a nigga right there that even wants to talk to your stupid ass, for one. And... The fact that he wants to be that one to make you happy. He could break his neck to do something for you. And you wouldn't even accept you wouldn't even accept the shit. You probably wouldn't even give him a simple thank you. Instead, you wanna bitch about what he gave you or what he didn't give you or why he didn't do something like this, this, that, and the third. All of that. I don't get y'all females. Like, it's sad. Like, really? See, me talking about this getting me really upset, but I don't even care. I know most of the time, I know half of the this video, I'm basically going off topic. But this time, I'm just going to stay on this one. Take me, for example. I'm working on to have a job. I don't have my own place. I live with my mother. I'm not in a rush to leave her because I love my mother. 
Half of y'all people that say my mama's boy and all of that and want to be tied down by his mama, fuck you. And I'm sorry to say this, but at least I care about my mother. At least I do. Not like half of y'all stupid niggas or dumb bitches out there that basically like y'all don't want y'all mothers in y'all laps. Like, I'll be honest. I've done, I've done some things to her. Not physically, but emotionally that I really regret. Like, for example, all this time when I go to the store for my mom or whatever, I would actually steal something. Like, she would let me get, like, one or two things or whatever off her card or whatever, but I get more than what she said I can get. Basically, that's stealing. And I regret that. And the thing is, here's the thing, how my, how I know my mom is real smart. I don't, she don't have to see me with the stuff, or I don't have to tell her for her to know that I took something from her. That's one thing. And another thing, I would sometimes leave my mom and go somewhere else. Because half of the things that go in the house, I can't take the frustration. I mean, I don't want to be frustrated in that same place all the time. Things like that. I don't like... <clears throat> I don't like always being there but I don't mind being there because she's my mother and I love her and I want to help her do things or whatever I don't want to do anything to physically hurt her I don't want anything to happen to my mother half of y'all females and niggas should be happy that I even have one and I'm pretty sure half of y'all out there is treating y'all mom far more worse than I treat mine. I don't want to treat my mom in any way, any kind of way, but respect. I still love my mother regardless of what I do. She still c takes care of me regardless of what I do to her. And she deserves better than that. I can admit that the half of the shit I do and did to her is wrong. I don't like putting my mom in situations and stuff like that. I don't like that. It's ridiculous that half of y'all females niggas don't even accept y'all mother. But most of y'all out there, I'm happy that y'all care for y'all mother, love for y'all, have love for y'all mother. Half of y'all that wanna move out y'all own place. Half of the time with my mom. Half of the time when I leave her place to go somewhere else, half of the time it will be on a good note. But if it's something going on there that I don't like and I leave, most of the time I will leave on a bad note. I like, I want to always leave my mom's house on a good note. Because if I keep leaving her house or whatever to go somewhere else on a bad note, things aren't really going to cut out well for me. I can honestly tell y'all that. And most of y'all out there that who think this video and everything that I'm saying doesn't make sense, fuck you and just listen to what I'm saying to you. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Actually, basically through this whole time, I was basically skip, skipping subject after subject. Basically, oh yeah, this basically came from when I was talking about how y'all females are about how y'all want to treat niggas and y'all only want them if they have like dreads, tattoos, a real sculpted body like muscular and all of that. Bitch, you should be happy that somebody even want you to be honest with you. I can actually tell you that right now. Like, I'll give you an example. Look, I'm skinny but I don't really have anything right here. I don't got nothing. My hair is messed up, but I have a hairband on. Look at this. Look at that. And I bet half of y'all females out there wouldn't even want me just because of how I look. Oh, and another thing. This eye right here is fucked up. But it's a birth injury. 
but I'm pretty sure half y'all females don't really care if it's a birth injury or not. You still won't want to fuck with me. Half of y'all out there probably think I'm ugly and all of that. That I can't, that I can't get pussy, whatever, and all of that. Fuck you. At least. I'm happy about how I look. I have people that can care too shit how I look. Because I have feelings. Half of y'all bitches and niggas out there don't. I can tell y'all that shit right now. I told you I ain't pulling no cut cards or nothing like that. I'm telling y'all that shit right now. I'm happy about how I look. And everything. All this shit that I'm talking about getting me frustrated because what I'm telling y'all is the truth. It's sad. That's not, it's real sad. Actually, one question. What is so... What's y'all... A question for y'all females out there. All over the place. From the USA, all of that other countries, whatever, that can speak proper English and all of that shit. Answer this question. What is so damn special about certain niggas that have, like, a physique and have their own cars, all places and shit, and have a job and do all of that? What's so great about that? Having tattoos and dreads and a good haircut and all that. What is so... What is... What is so great about that? I bet if he beat the shit out of you and all of that stuff, I bet you wouldn't like it then, though, would you? I bet y'all stupid asses wasn't, wouldn't. I bet y'all wouldn't. And it's like... Like, I'll give you some examples about me. I have, like, a kick, Facebook... Uh, yearbook, basically call it Meet Me, some stupid shit, whatever they want to call it. How the females I haven't talked to in a minute? There's some females that I haven't talked on, so like on certain social networks I haven't talked to in a minute. I would say, hey, how's it been? Long time no talk. And then if I don't know if something's going on, things like that, I see if they okay. They got the nerve to say, go away and leave me alone and all of that shit. Bitch, you should be happy that even that somebody even want to fucking talk to your stupid ass. The only reason why I changed my emotions towards them is because that response they gave me. I hate females that give me little fake ass responses and stuff like that. And one chick on Facebook... I told her, hey, what's up, how it been, do you remember me? She said, no, and please stop writing me. I asked you a simple question. Your bitch ass wanna, wanna say some fucked up shit like that. You should be happy that I even wanna talk to your stupid, ugly, slutty ass. I only say things negative after I probably would have said positive things about them in the beginning. Is because of their attitude. That's one thing. Not if they said anything to me negative, but all positive about it. Because if they real nice and want to bring me down easy, I would understand. But if you give me a fake ass response and all be all bitchy with it, I'm going to shit on you. I'm going to, I will say a whole bunch of shit that you ain't going to like. I don't like females like that. And half and, and another thing. I'm going to change the subject for a minute. About y'all niggas out there. Y'all. When it comes to fighting. Y'all don't want to fight a nigga one on one. Y'all want to jump him. Y'all some fucking bitches. I can tell you that shit right now. Y'all some punk ass bitches. You know fucking man up. Grow some balls and fight a nigga one on one. Like me, I haven't really been. I haven't really been in a one-on-one -on -one fight because half of the times in my life, I tell y'all, I'm telling y'all some personal shit. I've got jumped like two or three times. I've been robbed. I've been jumped and robbed. 
by some bitch ass niggas. Half of them that I know in my neighborhood, people around places, period. Niggas that try to scare me and shit. And what they fail to realize, if I remember and think about all this shit, one day I'm going to see you. This might sound like some thug shit, but just because I look a certain way doesn't mean it's what I am. But if I if I see you again and you want to fuck with me again, I'm going to fuck you up. I ain't going to need no help or whatever. But if shit get too far out of hand, out of my league and I can't handle, I'm going to need help. But I'm not going to, but we're not just going to run up on you and attack you. Because I ain't no bitch. I don't fuck around with bitches. I don't do that. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Y'all need to fix that shit. Stop jumping niggas. Bitches, stop being with niggas with dreads, tats, and muscles and all that shit. Because all that shit doesn't matter. You should be, you should find a nigga that's respectful, nice, loving, caring. He will break his fucking neck for you, for your dumb ass for one. And just cut the shit out. And niggas that want to talk to you because you have all these provocative and inappropriate pictures of y'all ass and titties and shit. Busting out of y'all clothes and whatever. Niggas want to talk to you. Y'all don't want to talk to them. And half y'all females out there going to the clubs or whatever y'all dress like that y'all claim to have fun just be with y'all females but when a nigga want to walk up to you and talk to you y'all mom just want to bust a nigga off what the fuck is you dressing like that for you just throwing off a signal that you that you just want to get fucked or you want to suck dick and get gang banged and all shit like that that's what you asking for if y'all don't like that shit Dress like a normal fucking female. Man, I guess it could be it'll it can still be attractive but cute, but not but not throwing off signs that you wanna get fucked and all of that. Y'all need to change that shit. That shit needs to stop. I'll be honest, I've seen females that look like that, but here's the thing. I have a brain. I think with this. I don't think with my fucking dick, alright? I don't think with that. But if I'm with, but if I have a girlfriend and I'm with her for a real long period of time, I will only think like that with her. But if I'm playing with her, she would think that that's what all I wanted. But if I'm with her for a long period of time, then it's fine. Have y'all niggas, y'all know that's true too. Anyway, like I said, bitches, stop being fake. Niggas, stop jumping in other niggas and all of that. Stop being bitches. Females, stop being fake bitches. Y'all, do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Besides the shit that I just said. Don't do that fake ass shit and that bitch ass shit. Anyway, this y'all boy, Brown Zamaki. And I'm out. Peace.